Hey babes, it's Kylie Patchett here, founder of the Tall Poppy Project, and today on the vlog I would like to talk to you about eating elephants. Now as you may or may not know, I have always dreamt of being an author. So this year I put my mind to writing a book when I was in New York on sabbatical for 28 days. It was a fabulous, fabulous time, but I have to say the whole process of writing a book has turned out to be one big bottomed elephant. So today I'd like to give you some tips on how to eat elephants. Eating elephants, as many people know, requires you to take one tiny bite at a time. However, there are some other things that you can do. Number one, please, before you start eating the elephant, make sure it is the correct size, shape, look, seasoning, heat for you. In other words, when you start a new project, make sure you know exactly what it entails and also make sure it matches what you want out of your life. There is no point putting your time, energy and uh, guts into eating an elephant that doesn't fit you. So for me, writing a book was something about sharing my passion, my purpose, my message with the world. So it was deeply, deeply important to me to eat this elephant. But I have to say, when I coach a lot of women, a lot of people are trying to do these massive, enormous, really challenging things. And when you actually get down to tin tacks with them, when you ask them what they really want from their life, that big elephant doesn't match the dream. So please, before you start eating him, make sure he matches what you really want. Number two, okay, I am the queen of doing everything myself. Now, in my life, that has meant that I have become quite a control freak and a perfectionist. And what I've realized in the last few years is that the more that you put your hands on things that aren't really your area of genius, the less time you have to do the things that are really important to you. Now, two of the most important drivers in my life are being creative and communicating. Now, part of the book has been a lot of writing, a lot of communicating, a lot of creation. There's also been all the little bits and pieces like the editing and the typesetting and the logo design and the cover design and the ISBN and the CIP and the getting your uh, book loaded up to Kindle and create space and smash words and sorting out. Ah, okay. So the number two lesson is outsource anything that is not your area of genius, okay? If you're like me and you're a genius at creating but you hate doing the paperwork and the organizational stuff, please outsource it. Doesn't mean you have to necessarily pay for it but you need to swap, you need to find other people that are passionate about that nitty gritty stuff that may not be your thing. So outsourcing has been the key to me being able to eat an elephant which is a big kick ass size elephant with a little bit of help few other people with their knives and forks on the elephant. <laughs> Number three, once you've worked out whether your elephant matches what you'd like and you find a team of people that you can outsource the bits that you don't want to, the most important thing is to make space for the elephant. We all know there's only 24 hours in a day and so often I see women trying to do this big massive elephant eating plus do this and that and everything else. This all comes back to how do you want your life to feel? Do you want to feel harried and hassled and stressed and strained and freaked out all the time? Or do you want to feel calm and at peace and like you've got everything, you know, it's all sorted. It's all happening. Now, part of that is being sure of the universe having you back. But the other part of it is make sure you make the space for this massive elephant, for this massive thing that you want to create in your life. Throw out the things that aren't necessary, the things that you don't want to do, the things that don't have to be done. Swap with someone, make a let go list, just let it be. If it doesn't match the elephant where you want to go, just let it be, let it be. It's okay to leave things for a little while. And number four, most important step in the eating the elephant, as they say, you can only eat him one mouthful at a time. What I suggest is you eat him three things at a time. Now that's being a bit greedy, I know, but the thing is, that anyone who has a to-do list that is longer than three things long is freaking themselves out. So when you think about eating your elephant, whether it's a book or, you know, creating the perfect body or, or um, you know, having an amazing house or whatever, just do three things at a time that you can step towards. So for my book, for instance, one of the things I had to do was we get the book cover done, organize the ISBN and do a logo. So that's the three things that I've concentrated on for this week. 
Next week, it might be uploading to Create Space, um, getting a few testimonials done, and finalizing the sales page for the book. So, just three things. You don't have to eat the whole bugger at the same time, okay? So, when you want to eat an elephant, make sure it matches your dream, make sure you outsource what you can, make sure you create space in your own life, and lastly, just eat him three bits at a time. Love you, beautiful. Thanks for dropping by.